Record your screen using PowerPoint. Did you know PowerPoint has a built-in function to do screen recordings? This is a feature that's been available going all the way back to PowerPoint 2013. You can access it under the Insert tab by coming over here to Screen Recording. When you open that up, it brings up the Screen Recording menu options where you can start a recording, stop a recording, select an area of the screen that you want to record, and in this case, we'll just do the entire screen. And it gives you a choice of being able to turn on and off the audio recording and turn on and off the pointer recording. Now let's go ahead and record something and insert it into our PowerPoint presentation so we can see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and start the recording by clicking this button and you'll notice that to stop the recording you have to hit the Windows logo key plus shift plus Q. You can also come up to the top of the screen. This window will pop up and you can select stop there. So let's go ahead and record and it'll start a countdown for us. I'm going to open up our calculator and do one, two, three times four, five, six equals and stop. That's our recording. It automatically inserts it into our PowerPoint presentation and we can hit this play button to see what it looks like. I'm going to open up our calculator and do one, two, three times four, five, six equals. Now you'll notice when I have the recording selected in PowerPoint, it comes up with this video format tab. Here you have a bunch of editing options for your recording. For example, I can change the brightness and contrast. I can change the color. I can add what's called a poster frame, which is just an image that comes out at the beginning of your recording. So let's select one from our stock image list. And we'll pick this right here and insert it. If you don't like your settings, you can reset it. And there's some pre-built video styles that you can choose from, where it adjusts the border, the shading, beveling. And if you come down here, you'll even have some 3D options that are kind of cool. If you don't like those individual video styles, you can always come over here and manually adjust them, like change the shape to whatever you want adjust the border to a different color if you don't like that and add those 3D shadows beveling and other options. There's also a crop setting here where I can come in and adjust the frame a little bit and crop that down. Now let's play this again and see what it looks like. I'm going to open up our calculator and do one, two, three times four, five, six equals. There's also another tab called playback and this controls the playback options of your recording inside of that PowerPoint presentation. It lets you do things like trim your video. So let's say we want to get rid of the beginning and the end where I had the recording turned off. Hit OK there. We can also do fade in and fade out. You can adjust the volume. You can check some boxes here to control the video, like make it loop until it's stopped. And you can even come in here and insert captions if you want. The tabs up here for video format and playback control how your recording works within a PowerPoint presentation. But let's say you want to save this out as an external file. Well, there's two methods you can do that. First thing is click on your recording and right click and save media as. We'll go ahead and put it on the desktop and we'll call this media save. That saves it out as an MP4 for playback. Another option is to come over here to file and go to export. Select create a video and you have some options here to adjust the resolution and actually record some narration along with it. When that's all set, go to Create Video, and we'll call this one Media Export. Down here, it's working on exporting that video out and creating your MP4 file. Those two file formats are now available on our desktop. And let's take a look and see how it acts differently for each one of those. This is the one that we did the Save As. 
I'm going to open up our calculator and do 1, 2, 3 times 4, 5, 6 equals. Now you can see it saved that out as the original file recording without any of our cropping and any of our editing options. Now let's take a look at the export. I'm going to open up our calculator and do 1, 2, 3 times 4, 5, 6 equals. This one saved all of our video format options as well. So you can see you have a couple of different options there if you want to export that file out as an MP4, depending on how you're going to use it. Now, of course, you can leave it here in PowerPoint as part of your presentation rather than exporting it out to an MP4, but you get the idea. I'll mention one other option if you do recording quite frequently. You can come up here to the ribbon and right click and customize the ribbon. And in the list, you'll see recording as an option. Turn that checkbox on and hit OK. And now you have a recording tab. Here you'll see that we have our screen recording option. We can save it as a show or export it to video. Those are the same options that we used earlier. But in addition to that, you have options here to do screenshots where you can capture just a portion of your screen as an image and insert it into your PowerPoint presentation. And you can record an entire slideshow. These options here are quite powerful and add to your ability to do recordings related to video. And that's a quick look at screen recording using PowerPoint. Be sure to click on the links at the end of this video for other PowerPoint tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.